see if we can get some of those. Oh, hello. Damn, son. What's up, mini truckers? We just got the inspection. I'm gonna try to get you guys to back down the trailer with me. See what happens. Hello. Let me clean my trailer up real quick. Span here with that US mini trucks. We're switching over from the Houston mini trucks. Been selling you too many trucks to uh, nationwide. I got somebody coming down from Wisconsin today. Should be here in a few hours. So hopefully we'll see him get that blue one. I haven't really got any video of it. But I wanted to show you something. Just picked up this uh, truck yesterday at the port. The Subaru Sandbar. Now I'll tell you what's been happening. I buy all the trucks at auction and uh, I have to win each one and basically you get a translation and then you can see uh, some of the information you can see some of the pictures so I've been ordering tried to get a supercharged sandbar and then I lost a bid and then uh, my last supercharged one I was supposed to win and it came and I was so excited at the port I like started pulling the engine cover off Hey truckers, Ben here at the port. I'm not supposed to be filming, but I'm so excited. Look at this. We found it. Aha! And there's no supercharger. Same carbureted like the other ones. I went back. I mean, I talked to the people at the my exporters, and they're like, yeah, you know, it said, it said supercharge. So I kind of got duped with that one. This one came in. It was coming in yesterday. So I didn't want to get too excited. I didn't want to hype you guys up. I know sometimes you guys get crazy. But it came in, our ship has arrived. Just a reminder, whatever happened last week, let it go. Whatever happened last month, let it go. You gotta look at it like the real analogy that the ship has come in. We gotta be ready to make a move. So keep it sharpening that ax. If you don't have a mini truck yet, just stay ready. Get that garage space, do some research. Get your finances straight, whatever you gotta do. If you got a mini truck already, and just keep enjoying them but we're gonna take a walk around of the supercharged sandbar i've got this seat out already for reupholster so this is actually the computer too so this is the computer system pretty sophisticated Maybe the honda computer this one's really clean overall i mean it's got that rip but compared to some of them well, this white is still white. Okay, pretty pretty much the same as far as everything. 100 octane already in that gas tank. Try to bump up that octane. Look at this. It's pretty clean. Fuel injected. Okay, got the circle lights. All right, now I know you guys sent enough with the chitter chatter. Let's see the engine. All right, all right, hold on. I'm pulling the spark plugs out too. That's one thing I wanna do with all of them. Oh, what? The EMPI, electronic multi-port injection. What? You don't even know. And son, hold up. I'm so excited. Look at this. So it's a belt driven. There's our bad boy. We should put a name on it. Here's what they're calling it. It's the Azen, Azen part. <clears throat> AMR 300. Sounds pretty sweet. I'm freaking pumped. Oh, hold up, let me show you this thing inside. So even inside, so it tells you. Watch when I put that key on, what? So when you, when you go into boost, that little green thing activates and it's like a little fan that says, you know, you're supercharging. So, all right, you guys are gonna have to pry it out of my hands. And then even then, I'm gonna have to not wanna give it up. But I actually have another one of these coming. So uh, the other one I've got, it's got a locking rear diff. 
so this one should be good and then i'm gonna start trying to grab everyone that i can so hopefully you enjoy this you get something out of it next video we'll drive it around a little you can see what all that horsepower is about riding in that super sandbar supercharged hold up what I got that full premium fuel. Let's see if we can get some fuel. Oh, hello. Damn, son. This thing's crazy. What? Hold on. This guy wanted me to buy it, but I'm like, wait a second now. I gotta maybe keep this one. I was thinking it was gonna be fast, but I didn't think it was gonna be that fast. This thing's crazy, dude. What? Yeah, once you get into that boost, it's just like, run, throw your head back. Hold up. Guys, we're here. We got the supercharged sandbar sold. The dude up in uh, Massachusetts area, he's got this thick accent. So he's gonna get the sandbar supercharged, but we're gonna drive it a little first. I went ahead and put that full tank that four wheel drive, this thing is running tip top Magoo. So we're just gonna drive it around a little bit. So everything is regular, normal. Just like many truckers, we're calm, we're normal. Everything, just stay relaxed. You're not even supercharged yet. Just wait. Wait till you got a big project ahead of you. Wait till you got a big task. Some of these guys, they want to not finish the job, but that's not how the mini truckers roll. So I love you guys. Like I said, everything's calm. And then we. that beast of the fury of the supercharger. That's what it's all about. It's unleashing that beast of the supercharger. I gotta get off this bike trail. I'm getting people too many looking at me. Too many looky loose. Everywhere else there's a couple speed bumps though, so let me just see what happens if I go this way. It's a supercharged sandbar. If you don't have one, everybody needs one. Maybe not the supercharged one, unless you're really gonna go off-road at top speed, but, or stay on road for highway. This one's going to Massachusetts. So the dude's just gonna keep it there. I'm noticing though the speedometer is a little bit funky, but I've never really had it going fast. So some of them, when they go slow, it's just, Seems like when you go faster, like I said, it's a lot more stable, but let's get some boost. Dude, this thing is so freaking fast. You don't even understand. Oh my gosh. Once that boost kicks on, it's just like a whole different truck. It's not even fully warmed up yet. We probably shouldn't be boosting on it too hard, but turn around here and go back. On the Japanese cars, the blinker is on the right hand side. So sometimes that takes a little bit of getting used to, but you almost prefer it. Actually, after I've been driving the Japanese vehicles for a while, you, I think if we all helped, drove like this, it would be more natural. It's kind of counterintuitive because that's what the only way we've ever learned, but I think if you learn, had two people and they could learn from the right or the left, you know, without po politics and rules and all this, then I think people would be more apt to be able to drive with their right, which most people are right-handed. The turn here, get that boost. I don't want to end up in a ditch. We've got all these ditches from this thing. It does have enough power, I feel like, to... So you could drive around all day without getting even into the boost. 
you know, here I'm in third. I'm going to shift down to fourth. I like to keep. I'm going to actually start out a second here. Still no boost. I mean, that's how you got to really wrap it up. It's or it's just throttle position. So when I floored it there, it went into boost. Here's some people walking. Maybe they're Japanese people. They don't look Japanese. They just look not Japanese, but you never can tell. Here's some construction going on in my area. All right, we're gonna go bring it to the lot before we get in trouble, before we burn something up. Not before we hit that boost a couple more times. This one's for you, Hall. Now, let's go over here. Maybe we can do a little burnout real quick. Just sit in this water. This one's for Hall. It'll do the burnout. I don't want to burn up the clutch too much. This one's doing tip top magoo. Could drive this all day when it's cold out. Here we need the AC. And this one doesn't have AC, so it's going up north. But hopefully some people can enjoy. Plus I already got a fire truck. I can't keep all of them. Every truck I get pretty much, that's one problem. I was gonna get a sign that says, you know, home of the worst car salesman ever. 